Hello, today we're looking at connecting a deck or a veranda into this internal corner of the house. Now we've got a couple of choices here. We could run our joists parallel to these joists and just either sit them on or check them over this bearer. But you may be in a situation where you want your decking to run in that direction, which means your joists have to go in that direction. And that's the example we're going to look at today. So connecting these joists into the house, we're going to use a method described in the National Construction Code. And I have an extract out of the section now. It's toward the back of it. it it's uh, this clause number here. It's toward the back of uh, Volume 2. Your trainer in the classroom will be able to make this available to you. In fact, you can Google it for free off the internet. It's a free download. So there's some information. It requires the use of a whaling plate. There's the size that it has to be when you're using a timber whaling plate. And there's some information on how it should be fixed in. And there's even a couple of diagrams on the next page with masonry details and details in the timber. And this is the one here that we're interested in. So first thing we're going to do is attach a whaling plate to the side of this joist. Now, if you've seen the previous videos regarding these joists, you'll notice that I've actually increased the size of this one because that National Construction Code requires that you are fixing into a piece at least 190 deep and at least 100 mil thick for fixing into. Now, you'll notice I've got a double joist here purely because I'm reusing a drawing from a previous video and I'm filming this late at night and I can't be bothered to redraw it. But I could just push those joists up together, make a hard double joist that gives me 100 mil worth of fixing, or I could even slip some 20 mil timber in between and turn it into a solid timber section for me to screw into. So there's our whaling plate going on, minimum size of 190 by 45. And according to this detail, we've got to put M12 coat screws in every 300 mil centers. So that will get fixed in every 300 through there with double 12 mil coat screws. We can then throw the deck bearer up at the other end. And before you say it, I know I don't have any posts in here. I'm, again, it's late at night. I can't be bothered drawing them in. There's our bearer checked over there. Bearing in mind, if we cut more than a quarter out, we'll need to put a framing anchor around there to support the bottom of the bearer. And then we throw our deck joists in. Now you'll notice I'm using an inline system here. For whatever reason, the client on this job has asked for as much clearance under the deck as possible. Perhaps they're worried about rising damp. They want to keep the timberwork plenty clear of the ground. And of course, these joists would have to be connected to the whaling plate with approved framing anchors so that there's no chance of them slipping down. And that's the basic construction of an inline system using a whaling plate against the house. Now coming back to what I mentioned a moment ago about making sure that joists cannot slip off bearers, there's an excellent document all about deck and balcony safety. And this document is a good one to have a read through. It's all about preventing deck collapses, which have cost quite a number of lives in recent years. I'll leave a link to this document in the description. There we are. Thank you and good luck.